2015 was a big year for mankind. Blowing water was discovered on Mars. Facebook passed a billion users. Jeremy Clarkson punched his producer and left Top Gear, and this crook finally resigned. Damn you, Seb. But as an engineer, 2015 will mostly be known for its huge construction projects. But at least that's what the game that we're playing today reckons, as there weren't any other years that Construction Simulator was named after. Yes, hello fellow engineers, and welcome to Construction Simulator 2015. Uh, I don't know why the 2015 doesn't actually appear on this screen, but when I bought it on Steam, it was 2015. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I actually, I bought the deluxe edition because I'm an idiot. So first off, we're going to select profile and we're going to go for the bottom one just to annoy some people in the comments. Our name is Matt. Our company name is RCE Limited, which I like to spell like this. Ooh, and our company color. Ooh, ooh, we're going pink. Question, why... <laughs> <laughs> Why are these characters so small? So I can scroll through them, but they're like so small. I have to proper zoom in and squint. I mean, none of them have a beard, but at least this guy's wearing high vis. So we'll go with him. Oh no, why are they giving me an orange hat? That's no good. Anyway, here we are in Germany, I guess. Wolfsheim. And this is where our story starts. Oh, there you. You must be Matt. It's nice to meet you. My name is Peter, but you can call me Pete. Oh, hi, Pete. You can call me your boss. Now get back to work. All right, so the dudes just told us we got to go drive a truck to the job site <laughs> I assume this is like my first day of work. Can you imagine like a new employee joins company, you told him, oh, I'll drive the truck to site. And this is their response. Wow, I get to sit behind the steering wheel of a truck already? Yippee! <laughs> Oh, Matt, what are you doing? What are you doing, mate? Now, I'm actually, I'm attempting to use a controller for this because I bought a posh Xbox controller. I use it like three times. So that is what we're doing. But first off, we're going for a wonder. See you later, suckers. <laughs> Man, I'm lit. I'm, it feels like I'm just playing GTA right now. I wonder how long this tunnel is. Oh, it's about, it's about this long. I wonder what that bloke's thinking. He's literally told me to go get in a truck and I've just literally run off and run into a train tunnel. <laughs> Anyway, I assume this is the truck I gotta get into. Let's get in. Oh, I was gonna say let's run over the boss, but um the boss is gone. Oh, and whilst trying to move the camera, I've just found out I can do this. Okay, let's drive around like that then. Uh, can't see a lot of the road, so we're gonna go into first person. All right, where am I going? We're going right. All right, pedestrian crossing. Let's stop in case she wants to cross. She didn't want to cross. Okay, truck seems quite slow. I assume maybe because the thing is up. So let's lower that down. Are we quicker now? Yeah, I think we're quicker. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. There was a green market. Am I going in here? Yes, we've discovered our home base, the village. Oh, there's my boss. Okay, he wants me to park my truck. Okay, sorted. Oh, I am definitely driving it into his face. When we jump out, it moves back. Well, I'm really filling this guy with confidence. I hope we have a good insurance policy because we've just been told we are taking this to the job site using our truck. So I assume we've just got to reverse up to it and attach the trailer. Oh, look, look. I can attach cargo. Can you see like I've just added chains? Like they're, they're off. Now they're on. Nice. Safety first. Right, weirdly, I can look around if I hold the right click on my mouse and move the mouse, but I don't know how to do it on the controller. So we're going to have to dual wield. We're going to have to use the mouse and we're going to have to use controller in the other hand. So we're just going to reverse using our mirror. All right, how was that? Okay, that was, that was terrible. All right, but we're attached. We need to do something about outriggers. What? All right, outriggers need to be detracted. I'm not really sure what an outrigger is. It's got to be retracted. Is it that little wheel down there? All right, small trailer, retract outrigger riggers d-pad up or q i guess should i try q oh someone just subscribed i really need to turn that off while i'm recording <laughs> thank you jim brech all right what about in here i press q i don't know what it means <laughs> this is way more complicated than real life oh i figured it out if i hold right bumper and do up on the d-pad look at the little wheel it is going up it just goes up very slowly all right now i can drive I'm not sure where I'm going, though. Where's where's the job? Maybe it's the little man down there. Oh, I think I just missed the turning. Oh, decent turning circle, though. Right, it's got to be in here, right? I may have got distracted drawing in the dirt, but... <laughs> Well, after a bit of fanning around, I found out it was actually out here. So that's there now. we got to drive this back to the depot and then go see our boss. Oh. <laughs> Uh, my bad. It's my first day. I did say I hope you got insurance. I'm quite intrigued to see whether that will stay upside down when we talk to this bloke. Yep. What does he say? Does he mind? Oh, no. I think I've just somehow started the mission again, even though there's no excavator. Simply reverse and get the trailer with the digger. Uh... <laughs> That's gone. Oh, look, my boss is here now. Okay, I'll tell you what, that's impressive technology. I can open and close these from my cab. I like hydraulic arms. I want to, like, shove something on it and then, like, go bloop. 
<laughs> Get some catapult going. Right, anyway. Okay, Mr. Boss Man, what's next? What, what are we doing here? I'm guessing... Am I just driving this off? Oh, dear. <laughs> I've been in this for two seconds. I've already rolled it. Right, this is quite cool to control, though. I'm using both analog sticks, one for each caterpillar track. That's cool. So, does this go in the square? Well, that went very well. Of course it did. What did you expect? I'm not a beginner anymore. All right, so our boss just told it to slow it down, and he's going to unload the excavator and then show me how to control it properly. I mean, I have literally just... I mean, I, I put it there. I don't know why you're taking credit for that. Anyway, let's get in. How do I use the shovel? Oh, I'm such a noob. I'm such a noob. Call a bucket, man. See? Professionals call it bucket. Uh, interesting story about the, the word bucket. Uh, so my first ever word as a child was bucket. Apparently I said it whilst my mum was trying to fit the car seat into the car. You probably have to work out what I was trying to repeat, but I was repeating something that she was saying while she was trying to get that in. Anyway, right, drive ahead to the purple area. Got it. Now change to excavator mode. Oh, look, the light's got on. That means something important's going to happen. Okay, so from in here, we can move that that way. We can move it up and down. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This, this really digs deep. So then to curl the bucket, I do that one, then lift it up. All right, now what do I do with this? Do I just plonk it down there? Nice. <laughs> oh, look, I can proper, like, stretch out. Scoop that up. Lift up the arm. Plonk it down there. Oh, this is awesome. So give her a scoop. Back up. Over there. Oh, boss man, are you pleased with me? I'm well pleased with me. All right, nice. We have dug some holes there. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I just fell down my hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I've literally stuck. No, I'm out. I'm out. All right, what do we do next, boss man? Oh, I've got to excavate the entire thing. We're only 25% through. Man, lazy, lazy. What am I doing? Oops, went slightly outside the pink there. Anyway, we'll do a little bit more digging. And apparently they're satisfied with that. So we'll get out. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That is a professionally dug hole. It's actually sort of the strongest shape. Does anyone else see that? Oh, we're doing drainage. We're doing drainage. All right, so we've got to get in our truck. Just reverse into this, dude. Sorry. And then we're heading to the edge of the town, which is just here. It's the edge of town, but it's a very small town. It was like two-minute drive away. And this is the building materials dealer. All right, then we're going to sprint over to this guy. Ooh, and we can buy We can buy stuff. Okay, so we want some pipes. We want drain pipes. We want one pallet of those. Purchase. Oh, thank you. Well done. Now we have to rent a forklift to load the pallet. I mean, really? Do I really want to rent this vehicle? I think it's a bit much to load what I've just bought into my own truck. But okay, this shop's a scam. So up here, we have the forklift. We'll get in this. And then we've just got to collect our drainage pipes. So, oh no, I've got, I've gone under, I've gone under the shelf. Oh well. So we lift that up and, oh, it did ping through. Oh, hang on. Oh, I've dropped them. Actually, have I? Oh, I haven't dropped them. No, I have dropped them. Anyway, they're on now. So we'll just... Oh, poo. That is the thing about construction. You, you can't be too fast all the time. You gotta slow down a bit. Because otherwise you end up doing a forklift needle. Forklift needle t-shirt coming soon. All right, so easy does it. We'll make it a little bit higher so we can get it onto our truck. Nope. Oh, poo. And now I can't scoop it up. I'm just pushing it everywhere. All right, let's forklift needle it so it flips over. There we go. Oh, that was actual skill. Did any of you see that? That was literal skill. All right, okay. Now that goes up. Got to be about that high. We're going to be very gentle here. Oh, I can lean it. Oh, cargo is faster. Now it can't fall off. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why didn't I do that soon enough? So you can literally fasten and unfasten cargo. Okay, we waste a lot of time. I've got to try and do this time efficiently now. There we go. Sorted. All right, here we go. Here we go. We've got one. We've got a big one. How do I fasten this cargo? I'm trying to fasten this cargo. Anyway, we'll just leave that park there. And then we can get into our truck. Oh, yes. Safety first. My boss just told me, I don't know how, telepathically maybe. Uh, we've got to attach the cargo. There you go. That's not going anywhere now. And then enter, flip the old things up, and then back to the job site. Oh, I took the scenic route because I got a bit lost. All right, over this way. Sorry, mate. I just... Oh, he was fine. All right, we're back here. Oh, wow, they've laid. What the hell is that? What is that? Like a fuel tank. Anyway, we need to unload the pallet, and we're going to use the excavator to unload it. So we'll head over to about here, go to excavator mode, and then I guess we just hover it like there on top. Can I then, like, detach it from there? Lower the side gate. How do... Do I not, like, attach them with a rope or anything? Am I just meant to connect? Oh, nice. We got it. Sweet. So now we just bring it over this way. Go back to drive mode. And then as we're going backwards, we've got to move the caterpillars backwards. And then do we just unload them here? 
Nice, we don't we just got paid 2,600 quid for that. Banging. Right. What's next, boss? I'll do anything you want me to. The pipes are unloaded and the boys can continue. Yes, because we don't we don't do we don't lay the drainage pipes. We just unload them. We let the peasants lay them. And yeah, really not sure what that is or where they're gonna lay all those drainage pipes. But if they do lay them, they've gotta put like a gravel base down. Or yeah, alternatively, encase them in concrete. You can't just put pipes straight into the ground like that. But I'm sure I'm sure the boys know all about that. Anyway, we've been told to go back to the base without our vehicle. Oh, that lamppost fell over. Um, if we don't want to walk, even though I can see how far it is, it's, it's literally there. It's not far at all. But I can call a taxi. So I can do that. And look, we've been transported to the tipper. So we got to drive this to the gravel yard. But first, got to pick up the skip. So we've parked up like this. Now we've got to extend the boom arm. So that goes down like that. We connect onto it. And then we just lift it back up. Lovely jubbly. This sort of looks like, like a tortoise or something with this color scheme. <laughs> <laughs> Squirtles, skip higher for all your skipping needs. Squirtle. Anyway, right now we're driving to the tip yard, the gravel yard or something. I think we're getting a load of gravel so the guys can put the pipes around in. So, oh man, look at that traffic jam. That bloody shop. A load of good for nothing nobodies in there. They just parked a fork truck in the middle of the road, blocking traffic. How am I going to get back? I have to come back this way. Knobheads. Bunch of architects. Anyway, oh, I just missed a turning. Hang on. Is there a handbrake on this thing? Oh yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Nice. <laughs> Took out a sign, but don't even care. I got gravel to pick up. Let's handbrake this turn as well. Oh, yeah, love it. Man, we're like proper going to the mountains. This is awesome. What country are we in? It's pretty beautiful. I will not lie to you. Right, this guy's going too slow. I'm going for the overtake. Huh, put your foot down. Drop it down again, Matt. Come on. Oh, no, I'm on the inside of a bend. Oh, no. Cancel. Pull back in. Right, back out again. <laughs> I will overtake this guy. Yes. Yes. Right, we've done it. And oh, now we've arrived at our destination. Get the back end out. All right. So the thing is, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Am I getting gravel or am I just dropping off the skip? Let's go. Let's go ask this bloke over it. Right. He was about as much use as a chocolate teapot. So let's see. Do I just chuck this down? Are we done with this? Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's what we wanted to do. So now we can head on home. All right. And here we are. We're back at base. Hey, boss. All right. Nice. So he's just given us freedom we can we can do whatever we want we're now an inexperienced apprentice baby to be fair we just earned like 10 grand on our first date like construction is awesome i don't know why i was an engineer i should have been this dude so if we go into the jobs menu we've got loads of contracts here so this first job is a single family house with attic and all we've got to do is cook the fam what? Oh, I think that's their name. That's their name. Okay, got it. So that, it looks like they want us to just transport stuff for 36 grand. That's fat cash, fair play. All right, well, let's see what this is all about then. So we've got to buy four small bricks. So get in our truck, get stuck in a sign. Oh, wow, we're literally, we're literally building the house. And what the hell? They made brick foundations. Is that a thing? Anyway, into here. Yeah, I need four small bricks, please. Oh, I assume that's four pallets. Because otherwise that is not a lot of brick. So purchase those oh no there's four over there we've got to get them on the truck okay so flop the sides down leave that there hire another forklift truck and then just load them up should be easy right easy does it easy does it are oh, you knob all right that's it that's it now up lean back all right okay all right it's on oh it's not on all right that's gotta be it that's gotta be yes all right oh god what's going on where are they going <laughs> help oh, i've cocked it i literally i can't get out what? How did that happen? Um, no, 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 please. Oh, no. Easy does it. Easy does it. No, 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 no. What's he doing? Oh, you. How? How is that even possible? Oh. How did I just do that? Oh, please, please. Oh, you, you knob. Ah. Right, carefully does it. Carefully does it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay, we've done it. We've finally done it. So, Back in the truck, flip the old things up, and then we just got a short drive, and they've all they've they've literally just all fallen out. What? Why? Why must you do this to me? <laughs> oh dear! Great, I just got an achievement for playing for an hour, and yet I've achieved nothing. It gave me five grand though, so can't complain too much. But yeah, the contract estimated this job should take me 18 minutes. And look at this; just stage one has taken me nearly 17 already. <laughs> 
Oh, I let I I I can't load these again. It was it was so it was so painful. So we're just gonna leave it there, and we're gonna say peace, love, and a pile of bricks. <laughs> Oh, I'll catch you guys next time. Stick to engineering. Construction is hard. Bye, guys.